guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited about today's video because it is all about interior design. So as some of you might know if you follow me on Instagram, we have been redecorating our kitchen and our extension room. Now I know some of you might find that crazy because we only had our extension completed like March, April time last year. If you guys are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe below and follow me on Instagram, which I will link below in my description box. And then you can kind of see this whole process like unfold. Anyway, the reason we wanted to get these two rooms decorated were because when we had the extension done, always in our mind, we said right between six months and a year after we've had it done, we'll get it redecorated purely because of settling cracks. And because we've got two massive big skylights, we were getting quite a few settling cracks in each corner of the skylight, um, in the plaster obviously, not the actual skylight. So um, I just thought it needed a bit of a freshen up. So I absolutely love the Hague blue that the extension room was painted in and literally like everyone said they loved it. I recommended it to so many people, but we kind of felt like if we were gonna pay to get it redecorated, let's get it redecorated. So that's what we have done. As you can see, there's no Hague blue behind me. So I'm gonna take this video back to the beginning and then I'm gonna take you through the process of what it looks like now. But anyway, let's rewind and go from here. Right, so this is our room at the moment. It's all painted in Farrow and Ball Hague blue. So we are like changing it quite a lot. But I'm sure you guys have seen this. We've taken all the furniture out already and um, that's the kitchen. It's painted in Laura Ashley Dove Grey. As you come in our kitchen, you then like look to the right and we are gonna have brick slips. Um, so it looks like you've got one of those like brick feature walls. We really, really toyed about having a brick feature wall when we were having our extension done, but it was just like an extra thousand pounds. Couldn't afford it at the time. I can't wait to show you guys what they look like. They look so cool. And then we are painting the rest of the extension in Cornforth White, which is also a Farrow and Ball color. Um, and that's gonna go into the kitchen as well. Um, so everywhere's just gonna be the same and then we're gonna like put loads of bits all over the walls. So I feel like at the moment our extension's like really cozy because it's in this dark colour and I'm really worried that once we paint it the lighter colour it's gonna be a lot less cozy but what we're just gonna do is cozy it up with some like cushions, some things on the walls. Right, so as we're going from such a dark colour to a light colour we're having to like whitewash the walls first because otherwise it's gonna take like three coats of the more expensive paint to like go over this Hague blue. Right, so it's day two today and as you can see, the walls have been painted. How nice that kind of look. It is completely different to what we had before. I'm really pleased with it. It's actually made the room look so much bigger. But the thing I'm most excited about, guys, is our brick slips have arrived. I got these brick slips from a company called Coochie Designs. Um, they just, it's like next day delivery when I ordered them. Um, they're $14.99 per half a meter squared, um, obviously 30 pounds per meter squared, which is a really good price as usually brick slips can be like 50 to 60 pounds a square meter. The reason they're so well priced is because I found a company who made the brick slips in a mold. So these aren't actually real bricks. They're just poured into a mold. That's the back. That's the front. This is um, called London Town. That is the shade we went for. They have got loads of other um, different shades and um, everything that you can go for. But this is a kind of brownie, creamy color, which I thought would go really nicely with our new wall color. I really can't wait to get them on the wall, but what we have done and what the guy who I ordered them from suggested was when you get a box, you put them out on the floor or something because as you can see, there are different colors. So it doesn't look so obvious at the moment, but when they're down next to each other, you can really see the different colors. Once it's on the wall, it looks really effective and it looks like they've all kind of weathered at different stages and have all like taken the London town soot in a different kind of way. At first when I put them out, loads of the black ones came out together. So I just 
pick them up, move them around, and now this lot are ready to go onto the wall. So to put these brick slips on the wall, you just literally use tile adhesive. Apparently it's really easy to do, so I'm actually even gonna give it a go. My guy who's doing it for us is gonna teach me, and then hopefully I'll be a pro at it by the end, and I can do it again somewhere else in my house. finished I absolutely love it when we first had it painted I was a bit worried because it's such a different color like it's so light and it actually makes the room feel a lot bigger but my main thing is this wall I am so proud because basically I did this wall myself Chris will tell you that he did help me and yes he did help me do about this much but I did the rest and I pointed it myself who would ever think that at the ripe old age of 33 I'd be learning how to point a wall it was so easy to do guys that you could definitely do it yourself. You could save loads and loads of money by not paying someone to do this because it is quite like a timely job. These are called London Town like I said, but there are so many other ones to choose from you will love. I just thought of one little tip that I wanted to give you guys about um, doing this wall if you decide to do it by yourself. At first I didn't use a glove when I was pointing it. I was using my finger to kind of like run along like that and I took some skin off these three fingers and then Chris was like hey why don't you use some washing up gloves I was like okay fine and it was so much better so that is my top tip also we went down to a local hardware shop down the road and we bought a pointing gun so it's just like a mortar gun I think that's what it's called and it just makes putting the cement so much easier in between each brick because otherwise you have to use like a little kind of spadey tool um, so I found that so much easier. It was like 15 pounds, well worth the investment. So I feel like I'm a pro. I'm looking around my house, see what other wall I can do next. So that is the end of our like redecoration of our extension room. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer before or after? Be honest, I don't mind because I loved it both ways. Like I genuinely did. So whatever you guys say, I'll agree with. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.